So what do you think of these robots? Personally, I really love the robots. They're really cute just to kind of like watch them roll around and deliver food. Um, I haven't personally used them a whole lot, but I know that a lot of people do because you always see them moving around campus. Um, honestly, I've never even had like issues with them because they're really good at avoiding you when like you're coming in front of them. But it would be kind of cool if they all had like little personalized name tags and things like that. I honestly think the robots are a pain in the butt. People constantly order from them. Every, I want to say, 30 seconds we get a new order. They constantly have more than five orders at a time, and we're constantly slammed with them. And they are constantly breaking down. And when you open them, there's trash in them. They smell awful. They're no bueno, in my opinion. You get more quality food coming here than the robot. It's a little frightening when I'm like texting on my phone and then, like, they're like right there. But, like walking to class, they've like bumped into me a couple times. So. You're good, you're good. <laughs> I think they're pretty cool, honestly. Show a lot of heart. A little, just a little juice roaming around. It makes my. Makes me feel good. Do you want closer? That's all I got. So, like, as a you know, a skateboarder, yes. okay. do you yes. ever come into like? Yeah, I've ran into my fair share. If I'm being honest, but you know, it's, it's all part of the process. You gotta learn. I think that they're kind of really inconvenient because what? I live in Riley Hall, which is literally just like down there, and it will take like 40 minutes, almost an hour, for like a robot just to come to my door, and they have like a really whack delivery fee. And honestly, I don't, I don't think they're very convenient. I think the robots are a waste of money. We probably should have used that money for classrooms or something else. They don't really seem to do much of a good job on campus. I can order food whenever I want, so they're pretty nice. I mean, sometimes they're fun to like, jump over and mess with if you're bored. So. We don't have anything like that back home. One of the first things I did when I saw them was take pictures of them and Instagram them to everybody I knew back home saying that skateboards, emotional support dogs and uh, takeaway robots abound here in the United States of America. Um, I don't really like them because I got hit by a few. A few? A few, Multiple. like when I walk and they just like randomly go like because when they cross the street they like, have no timing so but I mean I I don't know, can be lazy and get food whenever, so I guess they're okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think the robots are a good thing, you know? It shows development and humanity. I'm a science person, so I see it as like, like a progression. I hate them. They scare me so bad, I feel like they're gonna attack me. And one time my friend was like, going up to it, and it went on all fours and then started chasing her down the street. So, I don't like them. <laughs> I think they're super cute and I like them a lot. They might take over NAU at some point and like it's tense and then they become sentient. But that's okay. <laughs> they're cute. Last night me and my friend videotaped them um when we were um playing um what was it? Flight of the Valkyries. It's it looked pretty cool. And then I saw someone get hit by one. That was I don't know about that. It's like a small startup company and there's only two schools in the United States that have them. Us and George Mason. And uh, the idea is that they're all prototypes and they chose us because we get a lot of snow. And these six wheel drive uh, bad boys are just trying their best. <laughs> but like when they need to cross the street or anything, uh, guys in Estonia actually like log on to them and joystick them around. They seem like a good thing, but they're kind of useless and 
or taking away from people's jobs that someone else could be doing it. And it kind of sucks. Okay. Like the self checkout lanes at Walmart. A human could do that. Hi, my name's Dave. I'll be 43 on Halloween. I've watched this place change. I used to go to college here years ago, uh, back in 2003. So I left for years. I've been back now for two calendar years, and I see this college and this. I remember going out down here and hanging out. This is beautiful. I love stuff like this, but the robots to me is just, it's just another part of this. This has totally just killed us. Um, technology, yes, it does have its, its advantages, but it's come to a point now, like he, even Elon Musk, he watches some of these things, he's just like, look man, we're already done, you know? I see stuff like that and it's the epitome of what I call just, <laughs> we, we totally rely, we're basically cyborgs. You know, we, we have this as a total appendage. Um, hey, I see people do this and it, free, it freaks me out, to be honest with you, it really does freak me out. I watch people that are just totally glued. I, I, I'm the same way, right? I wake up, wallet, cell phone. Okay, cool, let's go. Right? But no, these things, it's just in the drones, the technology. It's just, you know, when, when does it stop? And that's the thing, it's not going to stop. God gave us 8 to 14% of our brains. We live incrementally, and now we live in an exponential time. And basically, robotics and what we call technology have just totally taken over. And for me, I mean, I've more, like I said, I'll be 43. I, what happened 20, 30 years ago <laughs> in uh, science fiction has now become our reality. And I really do live, we believe that we live in a matrix. Uh, Tesla knew it, 369, harmony, balance, frequency. And it's up to us, 369. We create our own synchronicity. But <laughs> the big B-U-T, artificial intelligence, such as these things, have now just totally taken over our incremental brain. It's a trip, man. Yeah, I try to hang on to reality, but it's tough, man.